But Wendy Williams and Tabitha Brown. So Tabitha Brown, everybody knows that's your business. Tabitha Brown, who um, just got this McCormick seasoning deal. Um, and I think she, you know, she's been very successful. She does the vegan recipes. I watched Tabitha Brown, her um, YouTube channel and her TikToks and stuff like that because she has really great um, vegan recipes, right? So she has been coming popular. She's she Her star is going through the atmosphere she has been able to retire her husband right and she was she the first thing i saw is that she bought her dad a truck she bought her father a truck i thought it was so endearing he was like oh that's a nice truck and then they were like this is your truck dad and this and that bought her dad a truck he was so happy then it's been about like three or four months and now she's announcing she was happy she made this video she was really happy and excited and saying that she's going to retire her husband. He was law enforcement for 12 years, 12 or 15 years. And baby, tell him how happy you are and this and that. And so he's on camera looking like he's not that excited. But he explains to us and shares with us that it took him over a year to make a decision. Um, being a cop and being a, a provider for his family is part of his identity as a man. And, it, you know, this is something that's going to be new for him but she basically is saying that he wants he has a nonprofit and he does coaching with kids and stuff i don't know what kind of coaching he does i don't know if it's sports i don't know what kind of coaching it is but that um he wants to focus on that and she feels like now you don't have to have a job to um do that now you can focus on that we our family makes enough money for you to do that so why don't you go ahead and focus on that you you know you can retire he didn't look excited he his body language his nonverbal said they were louder than what he was actually saying um i don't know if he was just trying to be cool about it because you know like even i was talking to diva yesterday about it and he was like you know how black men be at just men period they they don't they have to act like they cool like they're not excited like you can't be excited maybe being excited is too feminine i don't know who knows child but um he you know they can, they act like they can't be excited about something he was like even like think about when cardi b is giving like offset gifts and stuff like that and it's like he'd be like you know like he can't be cool like he gotta be it's he has to be cool he can't show that he's excited. He has to be calm, right? And that's what, you know, was translating for Diva. That's how um, Chance was, you know, acting, right? I noticed off the bat, I heard what he said. She seemed more excited than him. Um, And I mean, I'm sure she's excited. You're able to retire your partner it's exciting. Like the, we, we made it, we got some money. You don't have to work and blah, blah, blah. So everybody has their opinions about it. Right. And Wendy had her opinion about it. Um, and it was trending because everybody was excited. Like Tabitha Brown, she, everybody, you know, she, um, was discovered from TikToks and, uh, what was it? Instagram or something. She was discovered on the internet, a digital star who has gone out of the digital atmosphere and is in like, you know, in your seasoning cabinet now. So it's like, and she's a black woman and she's really has this great disposition, which a lot of people think it's like kind of mammy ish. Um, and at first, when she first came on the scene, a lot of people, kind of latched onto her like this mammy type figure where they were like telling her her prop their problems and stuff like that and and being negative and stuff like that so she would always say um what does she always say if you don't have a good day don't go don't go messing up somebody else's day or something like that and um so it's exciting right this woman came off of the internet and she had she's this is exciting it's a black woman let's celebrate her and it's great. But when she says she's retiring her husband, a lot of people are like, girl, what? Like, okay, uh, retiring your husband. So the way the optics, right? So of course, Wendy had something to say about it. So I went and I watched it. So this is what I feel. Yesterday, yeah, it's weird what people, how people have responded to it because Wendy basically said that she 
um, this is not going to last. She's like, it's going to be, some, not this not going to last, but it's going to be rocky. This is going to be some rocky situations in their relationship because his idea, he said it out of his own mouth. And Wendy had her opinion about it. I, I'm trying to find it. It's not working. I should have had a cue to, huh? I should have, I should have screen recorded him. Anyway, so, okay, let me just get to it. So this is what I said, basically. Okay, so everybody knows what happened. I don't feel like explaining it. Wendy basically just said, you're about to start taking care of a man. His identity is in protect, protecting and providing for his family. You're going to have some problems. It's going to, you're going to have a little bit of problems out of that from this dynamic. When the dynamic shifts like this, you're going to have problems, right? Tabitha came out speaking in her sweet, soft, southern drawl and basically told Wendy, you don't understand this love like this because you are in so much pain. And I'm sorry that you are in so much pain that you can't understand love when you see it. Hopefully someday somebody will come and love you to the point where you will want them to be safe and you are able to do and retire them the way that I am able to do what, I, what I'm able to do for my man. So this is what I said. That's crazy because I think the same thing that Wendy used to attack Tabitha is the same thing she's using to come back at Wendy. Your happiness must be centered around a man for you to understand true love. And I'm thinking, I was thinking because I was a little lifted and infused and I was like, am I thinking too hard about that? Because I feel like at the end of the day, Wendy is on a television show she does what we all do. We all talk about hot topics, trending topics. We all share our perspective of what is being shown to us. And our perspective is based on what? Our experiences, right? And our truths and things that we've learned along the way. So what we see, all we're doing is sharing our opinion about what it looks like and what, it, what it's been through. Wendy didn't have to retire her husband because Wendy employed her husband from the very beginning. She knows what it's like to be the Mary J. Blige, the Wendy Williams, the Monique Hicks, she, uh, Oprah Winfrey. She knows what it's like for the woman to be the breadwinner in a relationship and how that affects relationships. I think Wendy is the perfect person to speak on what she sees. I think she's actually the perfect person. And Tabitha, what you said in response to her was, bitch, you don't even get it. You don't have a man that loves you the way that my man loves me. And we you don't have the love, but she did have the love. And for that love is why she put her husband in the, in the position that she did. Wendy was in love. If, if, I, I, don't know, I don't know if anybody else has ever listened to her, but she was in love with Kevin. That was the love of her life. And she employed him like you were about to do. You're not really about to employ him, but he's going to be living off of your revenue, your money. So Wendy is actually the perfect person. And does Wendy have a right to be in pain? Hell yeah. Did you? Did anybody hear what her husband did to her, the person that she loved and employed? <laughs> did you hear what he did? <laughs> anybody? So she has a she she probably is speaking from a painful place, but that doesn't negate her experience and what she sees and what she can say like, girl, honey, that's not a good look. And the fact that Chance wasn't ecstatic and as happy and excited with the big ass smile on his face like Tabitha had on her face. Y'all didn't see that. Did he look excited or was he just being cool? But did he not say that his identity in, was in his ability to provide for his family and it took him a year to decide to retire? So did anybody hear that? Because I don't know. So what are we rejoicing for? I mean, I mean, I guess it's exciting. But then it goes into, it feeds into this idea that black women are always taking care of their men. And 
Have you ever been the bre ladies? Have you ever made more than your partner? I'm sure that you have. And has it been a strain in the relationship? I'm sure that it was. So is Wendy's um, perspective and opinion too far off? No. Is it from her pain? Yes. Is it from experience? Yes. But you're not going to sit here and throw some dick in my face to tell me that I don't understand love because I'm such in pain. I did understand love and I did what you're doing, boo. And I did it all for love, boo. And I was the big smiling girl, happy that I was able to provide for my family and buy my mom this and do this for my husband. Yes, Wendy has been that girl, Tabitha. So for Tabitha to come out and she did it very gracefully, but for Tabitha to come out and say, you must be in so much pain, duh. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, did you see what she went through? Also, Wendy is suffering from a chronic illness. Hello? Like, I don't understand. Like, oh, Wendy's in pain, right? Somebody said Tabitha, uh, her name is Tabitha online. She said, Wendy truly showed her pain by making an unnecessary comment about Tabitha. That wasn't unnecessary. Wendy was sharing her opinion like we always do about what she saw. And she was basing her opinion on her experience <laughs> and other observations of women who have done the same thing and it put a strain on their relationship. Does that mean she's in so much pain? Could be. Does that mean she's wrong? Maybe. But does that mean that it hasn't happened? We see it all the time. Black women taking care of their men. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand it. It's clear she needs to figure out her pain i respect how tabitha came at it it was done as unconditional love no tabitha was mean as hell she just said it in a soft voice with a southern drawl that's what that nice nasty southern hospitality and southern charm comes from i'm gonna slit your throat with a smile smooth as butter like a hot butter knife i'm gonna slit your throat and it's going to be with a smile. And I'm going to say that you're in pain. And I'm going to tell you, you don't understand love. And you're in pain. No shit, bitch. Because she did what you doing. <laughs> Hello? Like, does anybody else see it that way? Am I crazy? Am I completely crazy? Okay. I must be high. It must be that. Because I don't understand it. She, with, um, what's her name, basically told her, this is what I said last night on Twitter. She basically told her girl, you don't have a man, so you don't even know what it's like. You don't get it. And hopefully one day, she used the man, like, that's how women fight, y'all. We still, we still reduce a person's happiness down to the presence of dick. It's crazy. It's crazy. Just be happy for her. If Wendy is sharing her perspective, what is Wendy supposed to say? Girl, this is great. Did he look happy? He didn't even look happy. You look more excited than him. And like I said, we don't know if he's trying to be cool, daddy. I'm so cool. I don't show emotion because showing emotion is feminine. <laughs> right? Tab Tabitha basically told Wendy, I'm sorry you don't have a man that you can take care of like I can take care of my man. But she did. She did take care of Kevin. <laughs> she employed Kevin. Kevin was her manager. So she did take care of her man. Like you took care of your man. Do you see where, it, where she wound up? So how come Wendy can't speak on her experience and that experience be painful? Because it was. Like, I don't know. Am I, am I, am I going on? Like, uh, you must be in pain because you don't have a man you can retire. But she did. She was in love until he needed another woman to, so that he could feel like a man because he didn't feel like a man in his relationship with Wendy. Right? Wasn't that it? Because you the man, you the breadwinner, you the masculine because you, you're supposed to protect and provide because that's where our identity lies. And Chance said it. I had to, I had to wait on this for a year. I, this is my identity, part of my identity. 
And this is how I provide for my family. And now you about to take those things away where we have always, like, this is what women want in a man is a provider who can take care of his family. And you about to take that away from him. And that's part of his identity. Girl, that's going to be some problems. Unless Chance is this super duper self-aware man. And if he was, he wouldn't have said that his identity was in his job and his ability to protect or his ability to provide for his family. I'm just saying. Tabitha basically said she's in pain because Wendy is projecting her relationship with Kevin into into Tab's relationship. Kevin is a known cheater, abuser, womanizer, and plenty more. Don't put that on Tab's husband. Tab is always positive. Why speak negative on her? She's not speaking negative on her. What she's seen is two people in the same situation she was in. Girl, I'm going to tell you. Why, why, I mean, I guess you can be happy, but what are you going to look from afar and be like, girl? Like, I'm going to be happy for you in public. That, like, uh, that's fake. And Wendy's not doing that. Like, what is Wendy going to do? Wendy just barely started telling us about what her, what's going on with her because everybody was like, girl, you can't be on here talking about people and not talk about what what's going on in your life is just as salacious as what's going on in everybody else's life. So now that Wendy's sharing more about how she feels about what she's going through, because at first she didn't, but now that she is now, it's, oh, she's, she's always, she's so in pain and she's in pain and she's in pain. You goddamn right. She's in pain. Did you see what she went through? And the bitch is suffering from a chronic illness. <laughs> is she going to, is she going to speak on her experience? Yes. I'm just saying, that's how I feel. Somebody said, Wendy doesn't speak the truth about her relationship. She has known Serena for years. That don't make no that doesn't that doesn't mean that she can't speak about what is going on with Tabitha from her perspective. You guys just don't like Wendy's perspective. Okay, then that's fine. But I think she's speaking from experience. <laughs> Mary J. Blige can tell you too. Who else? Monique can tell you too. She ain't worked since her husband became her manager. I'm just saying. And it's so funny because at the end of the day, all you guys are doing is throwing men. You, you, Wendy's perspective is based on a re, her relationship with a man and a fucked up thing that happened with her and her man. But what you're doing in response is telling her it's because you don't have a man and the pain that you went through is why your perspective is the way that it is. And I hope that you get some love and somebody can love you the way that my man loves me. Y'all gonna get y'all are going to learn that you do not throw your man in somebody else's face. That's what you just that's one thing that you do not do because you're gonna end up because one thing they will do is make you look stupid. As soon as you start doing that, waving your man's dick around in everybody's face, holding him by his dick and waving him around. See, I got a man, girl, and that's why you in pain, girl. Be careful, because that's the one thing they will do, is make you eat your goddamn words. So, ha everybody is happy. I mean, is is that... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Chance. I feel like, girl, that's his identity. It might be... It might take some... If you're telling someone that... You, if someone is telling you that you're taking away a part of their identity, do you think that there is going to be some hurdles or some bumps in the road in adjusting and the men because their identity and this is how they've been socialized men have been socialized for this unfortunately in the black community part of our socialization is the women typically are making more than the men who they partner with, not overall, who they partner with, okay? The majority. And there's other aspects that go into that, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I don't see, like, Tabitha just said it nicely. I don't see that there's any difference. You gonna tell me, that I, I, and I think she just said it nicely. You know, like, girl, you in pain. What'd she tell her? Nope. I was married to one of those. 
you know, I make the money and so on and so forth. Go live your dreams, buy a business, you know, stay with me, but go, go, go. You see how that turned out. I predict that this marriage is going to be on real rocky ground in a moment. Live your dream. Then they invest in stuff and they lose the money. And then they invest in something else and the money gets swindled or stolen. Then now that was a lot. He comes home and throws his bag down. And he's like, and she's like, what? Why? And he's like, I can't do this. And this is your. Hello there. Y'all all right? <laughs> Very good, honey. I was up doing a little work here. That's why I got about the You And you can stuff. see in her face that she's annoyed. Like she really wants to cuss her out, but her persona won't allow her to do that. Um, first of all, Wendy Williams, honey, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Um, and so people sent me a little clip and I said, oh my God, genuine uh, place, right? Um, but this was an agreement that my husband and I had. And I told him 15 years ago, oh babe, in five years, I'll be able to take you out of there so then you can pursue one of your dreams that you love. Right now, I was his dog in the fight, okay? And he believed in me. And we did it together for the last 15 years. I did every year with him at LAPD. And he did every year with me with rejection and no's in this entertainment industry, mm -hmm. right? However, God has blessed me. He has allowed me to manifest. I've been praying on this for a very long time. And it has now come to pass. That is the power of God. It's also the power of allowing God to be first in your marriage. Okay? Um, and that is how it remains Shay. successful. Shay. We keep him first. He is first in our marriage. Genuine. Uh, being successful. We keep him first. He is first in our marriage. Not money. Not business. Not success. But God. He's first. Okay, um, so this is my prayer for you. Uh, I pray that love finds you, true love. I pray it finds you and it holds you tight. Because that's the I answer to, to it. I will love you enough Cause that's the answer. to see you, to see you. An external source. When you source. are not well, to see you when you need true support. She's to see you her. when you need compassion. To see you when you need kindness. I pray that somebody loves you enough to sacrifice their life for you. I pray that type of love binds you so that you can understand why. I don't want my husband to put his life on the line. That's understandable because he's a cop. Wearing a bulletproof vest if he don't have to. I know that's right. And if that's not his disdain, successful. I love him enough that I want him to be safe and I want him to coach children the way he wants to but isn't that isn't that she's like i feel like she's the, i mean at the end of the day she's saying you're unhappy and you feel like this because you there's an external something external i don't i've i just feel like i don't know maybe i'm just like y'all say i'm bitter so maybe that's what it is I'm happy for her, but it's like it there's so many things that within our community that we're always we're always witnessing this this thing this is what we're always witnessing and then it's like i think it leaves a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths um and I, you know i think i think it does like okay that's great that you're able to retire your husband he didn't even look as happy as you and like i said maybe he's just trying to be cool or whatever and then some people are like, well, why can't you just be happy? But Wendy went through something very similar to that. So how come she can't get on TV and do her job? And don't we like when people share some of their personal experience? Maybe it's like, okay, well, you don't need to share it and like be nasty about it. But the, the part that Wendy said that was like doing too much, like he's just going to come home, like, like making a scene out of it. He's just going to come home and throw his bag on the floor and be like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Wendy, <laughs> Wendy made a whole movie in her head about it. What was going to happen? Girl, it's the best. So that's what I think. I just, I think she, she got her together gracefully, but 
she used, I mean, at the end of the day, she basically said, you're, I've said it a thousand times. I'm not going to say it no more.